Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we are going to be making another Valentine card. I'm using the Kindest Gnomes um, stamp set, and then <clears throat> for the sentiment, I'm using Life is Sweeter with You. Um, I am going to change it up just a little bit, but <clears throat> opens just like that. I'm going to put uh, Be My Valentine um, on the inside as well. Here is the envelope. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have a piece of thick Whisper White right here, and we're going to do a little cutting on that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, this is five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. All right, I'm going to leave it in the track there, and I'm going to bring in my cutter, and I'm going to take my cutter down to two and a half. Just make sure that I got that right. Yep, two and a half. I'm going to push that down and I'm going to cut straight up. I'm going to rotate it and come over here to two and a half. And I'm going to come down to four and a quarter. Oops. Just want to make sure that I got it there. Now you could start up at the top and come down to four and a quarter. It doesn't matter. Either way works. Press down and go up. And there is the front of your card. I'm going to save that because we're going to need it. All right, so this is going to measure two and a half by four and a quarter. All right, so let's fold this in half. And we're going to give it a good crease with our bone folder. All right. All right, so these are the pieces that we are going to need. For the inside of the card, you're going to need a piece of a sweet sorbet that is four by five and a quarter, and that's gonna go right in here. And then you're gonna need a piece of basic white. This is just the regular basic white, and that is two and three quarters by four and a half. I have a little strip down here that measures one by three and three quarters. For the front of the card, you're gonna need a piece of designer series paper that measures four by two and three quarters. That goes right there. And then another piece of sweet sorbet that measures two and three quarters by four and a half. And then this will layer onto the piece that we just cut off. That is two and a half by four and a quarter. All right, so. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping here. I'm going to take my basic or my um, memento, tuxedo black. I'm going to bring out my pierce mat. Sorry, I dropped a couple of things. If I don't pick them up, I'm going to be like, well, where did they go? All right, so I'm gonna use the little girl gnome this time. So I'm gonna use that, and then for the envelope, I'm gonna use this little birdie. And then the life is sweeter with you. And then be my Valentine. So I'm going to put the Be My Valentine right here. All right, little girl. And life is sweeter. And then my little bird. All right, so let's get our ink out. Sure, 
we get a good image on here. These are photopolymers, so that's why I want to use my pierce mat. And then we'll stamp the sentiment on the top. Just like that. Alright, and then I'm, I'm going to stamp um, the envelope. I have it out but I'm not going to stamp the inside of the card yet because I want to make sure that it get a correct placement so I'm just going to do that um, after I put that in and what I mean by correct placement is this is going to be going I want to make sure that I get this here instead of I'm sure that I wouldn't get it over here, but you never know. So I just want to make sure that I get it in the correct place. All right, so I will set that aside for a second. I'm going to take my uh, Sweet Sorbet Stampin' Write markers and I'm going to use the dark and just put a little highlight right here where there was a natural highlight. And then we'll color this in with the light we have a beautiful sunny day today the snow is melting but I'm sure we'll be getting more this is Wisconsin it's not done yet that's for sure all right and then I'm gonna put a little bit of pumpkin pie in there for his beak all right so that's done for the moment all right so okay since I don't have this one planned out like I had the other one let's use okay so I'm going to use the sweet sorbet for the hat and I'm just going over the little areas where the highlight are with the dark and then I'm going to go over it with the light um, don't forget about the join special that's going on um, you only have until February excuse me, 28th, um, and you get $175 worth of product for either $99 or $129. $129, you get the mini boho blue or white mini stamp and cut emboss machine. If you don't want that, you can just do um, the $125. You can you get a hundred. Sorry, I have to concentrate. Um, for $99, you get you still get $175 worth of product, but you're not going to get the mini cut and emboss machine. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, either way, you get $175 worth of product of your choice and free shipping plus all of the materials that you need if you want to make this a business. If you do not, 
That is completely wonderful. Stampin' Up! does not care about that at all, which I think is really cool. You can be a hobby and just get a discount on your stamp supplies. And that is really awesome. All right, for her hair, I'm going to use the Light Daffodil Delight. going over that and is this light daffodil delight yes it is um i'll put a little bit of highlight in there with the dark and since i already have a red hat i'll make the flower yellow And that goes there. All right. For the dress, that is the that is what we're going to have to figure out here. All right. For her little gloves, I'm going to do the dark. What is this? Smoky slate. I think for the dress, I'm going to do all light sweet sorbet. I'm not going to put any highlight in there at all. And I'm going to leave the collar and the little lace by the gloves. I'm going to use, I'm going to leave that white. I think I will go back with the dark along the edge. Otherwise, I'm going to leave it light. with the dark. I'll just go over this little piece down here. All right. And then I will color in. Did I color that in? Yes, I did. I already colored that in with the light. All right. I'm going to use my Wink of Stella. I'm just going to give the flower a little bit of sparkle on my other one. This is what my other one looks like. Um, I did the sparkle on the uh, heart. All right. All right. That's good. I think. All right, so this and this can go together. We had a uh, class yesterday. It was very small, but it was very nice. I appreciate the ladies coming that were able to come. Had a um, couple that couldn't show up. Unfortunate circumstances. So I Hoping that everything is going okay. So that goes on there. This is going to go on the front right here. This is the Gingham Designer Series Papers. It comes in a um, it comes in six by six and you get 
three colors. Sweet Sorbet, Balmy Blue, and Mint Macaron, I believe, are the colors that it comes in. All right. And then this little piece is going to go down at the bottom. Right down here. All right. inside and then this you're only going to put adhesive at the bottom and then center it in here The lines of the paper kind of help you to um, get it centered correctly. All right, now we can take our memento again and ink that up. And then that's going to go right about here. Wonderful. So that is the card. Well, not yet, not quite yet. Um, we need, let's see, to put some hearts on there. So let's get, this is the designer series paper. And yep, Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Oak oh, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet. Okay. So I'm going to let's see, I have a little strip right here. Let's see if that will work. Because I need three, three little hearts cut from the country bouquet builder punch. So we will, I'm just looking for this heart right here. Okay, there's one. I'm gonna cut this one in half so that I don't waste so much. There is two. And there is three. Okay, one, two, three. All right. And that can go back in there. All right. So then we're going to take some of the mini dimensionals. And we'll put those on the back. here. And we'll put one over here. One down here. And then one up at the top. There we go. All right. Now that is it for the card. Now for the envelope. I'm taking the same color, just different pattern. And we'll put some glue on the flap of this. Just like that. Here's the balmy blue. Right. And we 
can take our snips and cut around the edge. This piece here measures six by two, a little over two and a quarter, just a smidge over two and a quarter. Two and a quarter works, but it's right up to the edge. So I like to have just a little bit to cut off. Um, so it's just a, a hair over two and a quarter. All right, so there is the envelope and our little card. And then the other one right here. All right. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.